On December 8, 2015, Pope Francis inaugurated a jubilee for the Universal Church, the Holy Year of Mercy. During this year of mercy, which our Holy Father Pope Francis has declared, in the city of Rome and throughout the world, there are holy doors. These are signs of the openness of the heart to the mercy of God as we enter into his presence and as we return back out into our daily life to show the mercy of the Lord to other people. The idea of walking through a door is, it's a transition. So walking through a door can symbolize the transition of our own spiritual life, our own willingness to convert, our own willingness to take a risk, because really you don't know what's behind the door. So why walk through one of these holy doors? To those who do, the church offers something called a Jubilee Indulgence. An indulgence is the remission of the temporal punishment for sins that you've already been forgiven for. When I think of what an indulgence means, I think of it a lot as a parent. So when my children do things that are wrong, there's a natural consequence. And as a mom, I kind of want to protect them from that. So sometimes I let them off with things because I love them so much and I don't want them to suffer. And I think that might be a helpful way to understand what this could possibly mean, especially in the year of mercy. It's a God who loves us just like a parent and wants to just embrace us with this mercy that is indulgent. To receive the indulgence, you must also go to confession, receive Holy Communion, pray for the Pope's intentions, and make a profession of faith, like saying the Apostles' Creed. There are nine holy doors located throughout the Archdiocese of Toronto. Visit archtoronto.org slash mercy to find the one nearest you. Here you can also learn more about the Jubilee Indulgence. I encourage all of you to come, to pray, to commit yourself to that openness to the mercy of the Lord, which is symbolized by our holy doors. May they be, for each one, a sign of Christ's mercy and the mercy of our Heavenly Father in our lives.